Welcome back to another episode of Rocker Family Homestead. And in this part of, in today's episode, I'm gonna show you uh, a little bit inside our dog daycare and boarding business, how we support the homestead. Let's talk about it. So here we are back at it, man. Hope everybody's having a blessed week. Got a lot of rain today, slowed uh, progress down as we are coming out of the dead season. This dog right here, his name is Boaz and uh, had a pretty busy weekend far as dog boarding. And uh, you can see the ground is good and wet. Boaz, yep, nice dog right there. Had the pleasure of boarding him over the weekend and uh this is probably something we do anywhere uh daily between five to seven times depending on weather five at the minimum five or six at the minimum about seven or eight at the most we've been at this for going on almost a year now this may will be a year that we've been doing this and all glory and praise to the most high because it has been booming it has been booming you know we didn't have to do too much marketing or advertising or pay for any of that we had business well before we opened so just letting the dog come out uh one last time in the evening and then they'll get let out at 5 a.m in the morning you can see we got a plethora of toys all throughout the dog run and uh they thoroughly enjoy that plan tug of war and they can just be free out here man most people don't know that when you board your dog nine times out of ten they're going to be in a small little space uh if it's in city limits they may not have uh too much of a run and generally the people you know may not be dog lovers they may just be doing it for the money but man we take pride in treating you know other people canines like our own and if uh you're interested in finding out more about the inside of this man you know drop a comment down below let us know uh what you want to know about it and uh if it's something we can cover we can cover but all praise to the most high for giving uh the wisdom to be able to do this boaz come here come here look at boaz right there Yep, all praise to the Most High for giving us the wisdom to be able to, to do this. And we started this one from the ground up. You know, we had the uh, metal building done, the concrete slab done, uh, the fence work I did myself, um, the drainage little area right there, did myself, the water tanks. I'll do a video on those talking about uh, uh, water solutions for the homestead. If you don't have spigots, everywhere on the homestead what you can do for uh water storage so i'll do a video on that at some point but just wanted to show you let me let him in get the rest of these jokers out in the bathroom they come outside do number one number two take a couple laps let them stretch their legs and they are good all right let's get him back in there Got sugar mama trying to wash the dirt off her car over there. Let's go, Boaz. I gotta do something about this right here. Probably put a maybe a slab or something in here to kind of mitigate that. Let's go. Sugar Mama right there. I need a thousand likes. This one has to be uh, 
that's Hana right there. Very lean uh, pit bull, pit mix terrier. And then we have a uh, Kush right here, been with us for the weekend. They'll be with us for another week, but very big, thick uh, bully that the owner said they picked up in Hawaii. Only paid 250 bucks for him. So I was pretty shocked because uh, you normally don't get a big bully like that off of Craigslist. What you doing, girl? Huh? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Mm, just swung that mud in my eye. Come here, boy. Come here, Kush. Let me see your toy. Let me see your toy. Come here. He wants to play tug of war. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's his thing. Ah, there you go. Big strong dog. So we do this entire amount. There you go. So he loves to do that. Some dogs are more social than other ones and others are not. They require a little bit of warming up too, but these two right here are phenomenal, man. They warmed up right out the gate, treat motivated, food motivated. Other one is just very big and strong. You know, so we had to modify one of our cages because this joker was on the break of a prison break. Come here, Kush. Come here. Come here. Come here, Kush. Oh, you had to pee again. I need a thousand likes for Sugar Moment right there. Kush. Like I said, we'll be doing some... uh some upgrading in the near future. I don't know if I want to overseed it and uh, get it thick or do I want to, do we want to put a, uh, some kind of rock in here to stop all this mud? But it used to be grass, but due to the traffic, it's no longer grass, just a mud pile when it rains. And it you thought, think grass seeds maybe? Grass seeds, if you over, but eventually it's going to come back. It's like going to come back. Might have to get below the uh, that layer of where the weeds are and then fill it in with gravel. Mm hmm. Fill it in that way, it'll be be good. Hana, quit eating grass. She a bone. Oh, she got a bone? Yeah. She was the one that spit up that grass the other day. Uh -huh. Kush, come here. Let me see. Very gentle. Look, very gentle for a big old dog like that. Look at, look at the size of the head. Mm-hmm. Watch him get up. How many times you how many times uh we do this daily? A bunch. Eight at the most? Oh yeah. Eight at the most. That. It depends on who. <laughs> mm, depends on who. Hey, we done had some dogs where the owners be like, man, these dogs are sweet. They're precious. These dogs be like trying to take your arm off. But that's part of it. Would you say we, uh, a little bit of that anxiety and stress from these dogs we had in the beginning has probably gone away with how many we've had? Yeah, we had a couple, a couple little strange dogs, but not too bad. Mm, how many dogs would you say we've boarded? since the started because this may will be a year yeah i don't know honestly i, I couldn't even tell you over 100 over 200 yeah over 200 mm -hmm. come here Come here, Kush. Come here. Man, broke my toy. He broke it. He took it in there with the kettle with him. Oh.
Very sweet dog. Likes to play. Come here, Kush. Come here. Come here. She jumped up and got mud in my eye. Let me let her in and then, uh-huh. You can let the next ones in. You want me to do it? Or you mm -hmm. So you ain't gotta come out in the mud. Come on. And they know to go right in after a couple days, after about 24 hours of letting them in and out, they know the routine. Very simple. That's some of the weeds and stuff right there that we feed the goats. I'm gonna get in there and chop all that down. Goats will wear that out. Wear all that out. Come on. Let's go, Zion. Let's go. Close that. So we got Zion right here. Big old Rottweiler. He, man, he's been boarded with us maybe about 15, 15 times. We've had him a lot, man. And this joker, when his mama drops him off, he jump out the car and hug me. Very thick. We've helped him get um, a little bit more antisocial. He was kind of standoffish, but he does real good now. Mm -hmm. What's up, boy? What's up? Hmm? What's up? Hmm? What you want to say to the people? You want to say something to the people? Huh? Zion, don't be like that. What you want to say to the people? He said that's all he had to say, man. Public service announcement from Zion. I always like to jump up and give hugs. What's up, buddy? What's up? Hmm? Sweet dog. Sweet dog. Loves rubs, all of that. Likes getting his chest rubbed. Get big old baby, huh? Big old baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get a thousand likes for Zion. All right, let's go. So there you have it. Go ahead and wrap this one up. Just a couple of the dogs. The process of uh, letting them out on the run. Make sure they get exercise, use the bathroom. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Rocket Family Homestead, out.